Hello children, let us all learn one more important topic and an interesting topic I can say. Alloys, their types, how important they are in the daily life, corrosion of metals and how to prevent it. Okay, now what are alloys? What are alloys? Alloys are nothing but they are homogeneous mixture of two or more metals and even non-metals combined with it. We can say alloys as solid solutions. When we say solutions, what are the two important components in it? One should be the solvent, another one should be a solute. The higher concentrated metal is a solvent and the rest are solute. How the alloys are made? The first one is fusing the metals together. The good example for this is brass, which is made of zinc and copper. The second method is by compressing the finely divided metals. Wood metal, which is an alloy of lead, tin, bismuth and cadmium is a good example for it. Based on the components, we classify alloys as ferrous alloys and non-ferrous alloys. When the ferrous alloys we say, they contain iron as an important component. When it is non-ferrous alloys, they do not contain iron. The good examples are copper alloys and aluminium alloys. Now some examples. Copper alloys, brass and bronze. Iron alloys, that is ferrous alloys, stainless steel and nickel steel. Aluminium alloys, duraluminium and magnalium. Amalgam. What are amalgam? Amalgam are the alloys of mercury. You see here, the liquid mercury in the hand, is it not? This is teeth which is filled with silver tin amalgam. So one of the component in the alloy if it is mercury then they are called as amalgams. Why? Why do we need alloys? Because to modify the appearance and color, to modify the chemical activity, to lower the melting point of the metal, to increase the hardness and the tensile strength and also to increase the resistance to the electricity. Alloys are very much important because of these properties. Metals like aluminium, iron, copper, nickel, when they are alloyed with other metals and non-metals, find significant uses in various fields. What do you see here? It's a golden ring. Then it's a toy made of aluminium metal. And that is an iron nail and this is spoons made of copper and here it is the anklets colossal made of silk. After few months what do you all notice? Which is more affected and why and how? Can anybody think about it? Yes, the iron nail is the one which gets more affected and the next is the silver jewellery that is the anklet. What is this actually happening? This is corrosion. When it happens in iron, we call it as rusting. What is corrosion? Let us understand. What is that you all see here? It's a ship, a old reckoned ship. It is being rusted. Since it is made of iron, we call it as rusting. Otherwise, it is corrosion. So what is corrosion then? the gradual destruction of metals by chemical or electrochemical reaction with the environment is called as corrosion. What are the different types of corrosion? There are two types. One is dry corrosion or the chemical corrosion. Here you can see an agarbati stand. One is exposed, another one is covered. You can see the exposed one is corroded by air. So the attack of metals by corrosive liquids or gases is dry corrosion. Then what is wet corrosion? that is electrochemical corrosion which takes place in the presence of moisture. The very good typical example is rusting where the iron exposed to the moisture and air forms rust. Rust is nothing but hydrated iron oxide. Corrosion in the presence of moisture is wet corrosion. How to prevent corrosion? What are the methods of preventing corrosion? The first method is alloying. That's why in the daily life we use lot many alloys to prevent corrosion. What is the next one? Surface coating. There are four methods involved. The first one we could see is galvanization. Number two, electroplating. Three, anodizing. Number four, cathodic protection. Now, let us discuss what is galvanization and electroplating. 
it is a process of coating iron by zinc or any another metal if it is by zinc it is called as galvanization and any metal by another metal is called as electroplating then anodizing what is this anodizing this is a process in which metals like aluminium are coated with metallic oxide like aluminium oxide is coated on metal aluminium thereby preventing the oxidation of the metal this is anodizing the next method cathodic protection here this is a technique where the corrosion is controlled on the metal surface by making it as a cathode and the easily corrodible metal acts as a an anode this method is widely used for the pipelines which are found under the ground next video we'll be learning about the types of chemical reaction